Public Works crews continue to clean up broken tree branches and other debris in northern Boone County after thunderstorms moved through the area last night. Damaging winds swept through the Hallsville and Centralia areas. KRCG 13's Mark Sliver reports the gusty winds nearly killed a man while he was sitting on his couch. Emergency officials say no one was seriously injured as the storm passed through northern Boone County. However, one Hallsville man barely survived. It's hard to shake him, actually, to, to know you, you come that close. John Hodge says he was sitting on his sofa with his cat when he heard winds howling outside his home. Seconds after he got up from his couch to check out the weather conditions, a tree fell through his roof and landed on his sofa. Hodge says it's a miracle he is alive. My wife was in the back bedroom, so I started to walk down the hallway, and all of a sudden the tree came through the roof. So where I was sitting in the living room was totally destroyed, and uh, that's where I would have been if I could stay there 60 more seconds. The American Red Cross is helping the Hodge family until they can move back into their home. Thunderstorms caused thousands of people in northern Boone County to lose their power. Ameren, Missouri crews restored power as quickly as possible. Tree limbs blocked several roads. Boone County Public Works crews spent all day Friday cleaning up the mess with chainsaws, bobcats, and dump trucks. We've had crews out all night long and into the day trying to get the roads open and clear. Boone County emergency officials say they are working to fix some outdoor sirens that didn't sound a warning during Thursday's thunderstorm near Hallsville and Centralia. They all tested fine last Wednesday, uh, but we're going to get to the bottom of why, why those weren't all activated to make sure that doesn't happen again. Boone County Public Works crews continue to clean up broken limbs and other debris. They expect to finish their work by Monday. Reporting in northern Boone County, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.